Good morning, it's Monday and here is the new summary. Well, generally there's not much news today. Um, the headlines seem to be dominated by Simon Cowell finding a crazed fan in his toilet. Uh, we've had David Cameron, who ran a mile yesterday, also running a mile from the fact that uh, he's being accused of uh, receiving cash for questions, or for dinner in fact. And obviously the hot weather is continuing and that's been getting a few headlines. On the more um, refined points of the news, Personal finance. Um, Santander is going to close 56 branches. Not a huge amount when you know that Lloyds are having to sell about 660. Rumours are then that, that NBNK Bank is going to buy the Lloyds branches. Now I've never heard of NBNK Bank either, but they're going to buy the Lloyds branches. On the property front, ministers have only um, changed um, the wording in the National Planning Policy Framework, which is due out on Tuesday, and they're going to protect the uh, school playing fields from being developed by the uh, developers. Um, poor developers, they try to build and as soon as they stay they want to build, they're told they can't build in the right place. I think the developers are kind of between a rock and a hard place, aren't they? Anyway, um, Prime Location, one of our competitors, has said that good schools raises property prices by 42%. That's A, a load of nonsense and B, a very old story. Well done for trying, but competitor Prime Location. Zoopla is obviously far more ingenious in its own uh, stories, as you will see later this week. Um, meanwhile, on the personal finance front, BM Solutions says buy-to-let rents have risen by 4.8% over the last 12 months. That's wrong because LSL says that rents have gone up 3.5% and LSL's index is a much more credible index than BM Solutions. So there is your summary for today.